Do you cry in your weakness or carry it like Jesus? Or just wonder where the peace is? The heart's beautiful, the brain's where the beast lives. All these names on a train and I'm trying to put my peace in. I paid for days till my pain's raised. The spirit in my lyric phrase. And when it plays like a fire blaze, I remember to the higher plane. I can't start dark days. Come along, feel my heart like blaze. Hi Dave, welcome to the Monkey London channel. Alright mate. Today we're here to review your BMW M3 E46. Yeah. But it's not stock. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I bought it as repossession. A race team bought it to use the engine. Uh, and I bought the rolling shell. I think I paid 1500 quid for it. I'd already got a 2JZ engine before I bought the shell. And what sort of horsepower is the car currently running? Uh, at the moment, the car's set up for shakedown test. So it's running 500 brake. We're running just one bar of boost. To be honest with you, I don't want to go more than that because for the track, that's a usable amount. And this yeah. is predominantly a track car. The engine itself is a stock engine at the moment. I bought the engine, it was a 30,000 kilometer engine. Gearbox in this is a, is a Getrag original six speed M3 yes, box. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, just a, just a stock box, which uh, I'm led to believe is, is good to handle the power. Yeah. Do you want to just run us through the specs on the engine? Okay, it's got a Borg Warner twin scroll turbo on it. Uh, I've got a Hypertune uh, manifold and uh, uh, intake manifold and fuel rail on it. Toyo Sport intercooler, which is, um, they're just a generic, a generic cooler really, good size cooler. Uh, went for the biggest one that we could fit in the space. Turbo's a twin scroll Borg Warner EFR, it's internally wastegated. Again, the reason beyond the internal wastegate is heat. The external wastegate generates a lot more heat than the internal wastegate, so it just seemed like the, uh, the, the more sensible route. option. Yeah. yeah, Most of the thought on this engine in this car has gone into making sure it runs at the right temperature. On the turbo, we've got um, a heat blanket to keep it cool. Um, the downpipe from the turbo is three inch. Uh, it's three inch system from front to back. We made the, the downpipe ourselves because obviously you can't buy a JZ BMW <laughs> downpipe. Yeah. You've got a limited amount of space from the, for the steering steering rack to get around the steering rack. So we bought a uh, load of sections and uh, knocked up our own own exhaust. Fair play, is, all, all made in house. Yeah, connected with. V band, oh, nice. it's just easy, easier to take on and yeah, take 100%. off. Yeah. It's actually quite when you started up earlier, it is quite quiet, but it's actually quite refreshing to see. Obviously, it's you've got to be, you've got to be because, yeah, because it's for the track. Pe thing people don't think about is everyone thinks race cars are loud, but they're not because of noise pollution. So it has to be, it has to run sort of 96 decibels, really, yeah. to be that way. I know I can go to any track and it's going to be okay. <laughs> full racing slicks on it yes which I'm, I can tell are not road legal yeah well <laughs> to be honest with you I've only put the slicks on for photographs because they're, <laughs> yeah, they're my favourite set of yeah, wheels it's cool but yeah yeah, it's got three different sets of wheels four actually two sets of uh, 
road wheels, the standard ones it came with, uh, and a set of rotors. And what wheels are the track wheels, the ones you got on now? Uh, they're CSL reps. Ah, okay. Yeah. No oh, yeah I thought I'd recognise them. Yeah, not going to spend the money on genuine no, C CSL, CSL wheels. What do CSL wheels. wheels go for? A couple of grand? Or more? More than I'm willing to spend. <laughs> I paid, paid 500 quid for those. Brakes on this look lovely as well. I can see they're AP racing. Yeah, we've got uh, AP six pots on the front and four pots on the rear. And what pads are you running? X Race Series pads, uh, the softer compound one. Callovers wise, you're running a set of KW version threes. Yeah, KW version threes we're running at the moment. They uh, they just offered themselves up at the right price, really. So what about the rear setup? What about LSD and stuff? Uh, okay, so I've got a rebuilt M3 diff in it. Uh, just uh, just a fresh a fresh build on that basically stock diff but a fresh build all the same ratios yeah 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 standard ratios they seemed uh, pretty compliant with with uh, with the revs of the super engine body work on this is pretty striking it's not a nardi grey it looks a little bit similar to nardi but is it, am I right saying it's a bit lighter uh, it is BMW fashion grey originally it was a 1960s colour from Porsche called uh, mode grey it's got a uh, carbon fibre roof skin on it carbon fibre wings fiberglass bonnet fiberglass bumpers Jesus it looks so quite a bit lighter yeah, it is quite a bit lighter. We're hoping to go fiberglass doors as well, maybe carbon fibre doors. What do you think the car currently weighs now? Uh, I'd say it's under 13. 13, yeah. yeah. We haven't had it on a weighbridge yet, but the amount, I mean, we took, in modules and wiring, we took 40 kilos out of the car. Oh, a lot, is, man. Which is Huge a, amount of electrics. Yeah, bloody good, so I don't oh, need all that. No, and inherently these were sort of quite a nice, quite a posh car when they first came out, so there was quite a lot of complicated oh, electrics all, going on. All sorts of crap in there. We had uh, a friend, Gaz Thomas, uh, he came down and he laid the whole loom out on the floor and stripped everything out of the loom that didn't need to be there and he had it all working on the floor, horn, Fair headlights, man. everything. Yeah, yeah that's so. cool. Interior is pretty crazy. Minimal <laughs> is, is what I'd say. Very race car. Well, we decided we didn't really need a dashboard. It's a bit too sort of creature comforts, isn't it? Roll cage looks pretty detailed. Well, the roll cage was a big sticking point on the car. The car sat in the unit for probably six months while I was searching for cages. I just couldn't find a cage that did what I wanted it to do. And uh, Jace, who works with me, he said, just buy a bloody pipe bender and make a cage. So we bought the pipe bender and we did the main hoop in one try and it went straight in. And I was like, okay, let's let's go. So we just uh, built the rest of the cage ourselves. The seats, um, I went down to uh, Demon Tweaks to get the seats. Yeah, they're OMPs, yeah, FIA approved. Um, they're not even a particularly expensive set of seats. I think with the, with the brackets, which I threw in the bin and had to make my own, uh, and the harnesses, I think I paid about 1100 quid. Okay. So, yeah, pretty, not pretty over the top. Reasonable, yeah. And yeah. What, what harnesses are they? Uh, they're OMP harnesses OMP as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. A full Digi Dash? Uh, yeah, we've got a, a Race Tech Dash. You'll spend <laughs> more time on the phone to the helpline than, <laughs> than you will using the bloody thing. But decent once it's all set up? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It does the job. We've got a, a Toucan, Toucan display next to it as well, which sort of monitors absolutely every detail on the car. You can switch it. It's got three maps on it at the moment. Uh, low boost, medium boost, high boost, it's got launch control, okay, uh, it's got anti-lag, and you can switch through all of those on the screen. It's just like sort of having everything that you need at your fingertips. Just run us through the pedal box and the reservoir. Uh, it's a Tilton uh, billet aluminium pedal box. Uh, the main reason behind it was purely just to get the servo out of the engine bay so it wasn't right by the turbo. Makes it was, sense, yeah. Yeah, it was again just a, a forethought. So yeah, we've, we've made, uh, made all the mounting points up for that it's connected to the cage in the body and nice. uh, it comes in and out with four bolts so if you do need to do anything to it it's not overly complicated no, to get quite, in and out sort of user friendly yeah down here i can see like you mentioned you've got a full uh, standalone link ecu is that a g g4 yeah link g4 plus it's it a is. plus yeah it does pretty much everything you want it to do and who mapped the car uh dwr mapped the car uh, in Chesterfield. One thing we forgot to mention was the clutch. Uh, yeah, the clutch built by uh, Clutch and Gearbox. It's a, a six paddle custom clutch specifically designed for for this car. I think we've pretty much done most of the sort of technical bits. Should we take it out for a little spin? Yeah, why not? in this car it's proper raw I mean it's really sort of mechanical you can hear every sort of movement <laughs> Oh, 
man. Yeah, I'm still warming it up. <laughs> you, get, you get quite a lot of um, chatter, don't you, from the from the gearbox? Yeah, yeah. You get on a on a normally mounted box, you wouldn't notice it so much, but this is mounted on solid aluminium. Ah, pads, right, so. yeah. Find driving on the, on the road with the pedal box? Does it take a lot to get used to? Yeah, it's, it's nice on track, but it's a little bit a little bit hard to get used to. Do you find it you don't have that sort of sensitivity? Yeah, there's no servo. It's quite mad. Dave was saying the car built, took just over three years to build, and this is the fourth time he's driven it, so not many times. And what sort of track days are you going to be doing this year? What sort of circuits are you going to be going to? I've got a um, Got spa booked. Oh, nice! On, uh, in May. Uh, a bit I'm, of a bit of a Euro trip. Yeah, I'm getting coaxed into Donington on the uh, on the 27th of this month, but I know fully well if I book it'll snow. <laughs> it's quite cool with the digi dash as well. I take it you've got loads of different sort of variables you can flick through. Yeah, I was, I was just checking the fuel to be honest, just make sure there's enough gas in it. <laughs> brings this video to a close. If you guys would give Dave a cheeky little follow down here, he'd really appreciate it. We're gonna be catching up with him in about two weeks. Yep. He'll probably be killing me once he's repaired my S15. <laughs> Good chance. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you soon. <laughs>